Rabza Noor Kochikar, a sixth grade student of the visually impaired Imam Hatib Secondary School living in Turkey, memorized the entire Quran in just 12 months. This is her powerful story. Rabza Noor, daughter of three children, Mehmet and Rabia Kochikar, who made a living in Karapinar with agriculture, lost her sight completely after the age of four. Ravza Noor, whose family was almost worried about her, enrolled in the project school Karapinar Imam Hatib Secondary School, where formal education and half his education were given together, in order to crown his success in school education with half his. Attracting attention with her success in her lessons, Ravza Noor attained her dream by memorizing the Quran, which she learned with the help of Braille alphabet in 12 months with the support of his mother, teachers, and teachers in the course. Ravza Noor, who spent the last three months studying at home as a part of the new type of lockdown measures, says she wants to meet President Rajat Tayyib Erdogan. Ravza Noor shared her excitement of memorizing the Quran with her reporter who interviewed her, saying that she was extremely happy to achieve this goal in a short time. She said, I aim to be a Hafiz in a short time, and I succeeded in this. When I was having difficulties, I added my night to my day. I completed it. I memorized the Quran both by reading and listening to it. I started, then I memorized up to 11 pages a day. She also said, I am also a successful in school lessons. I got 497 points with one mistake in scholarship exam. I also successfully carried out formal education with memorization. Alhamdulillah, I have also had a great support from my teachers in school. I advise them to go right now and encourage people to memorize explaining that many people were looking for her after her success was heard. There are people who congratulate me. Therefore, I am excited. I want to meet with our president now. I had two wishes. One was to be a Hafiz, the other was to meet with our president. I would like to call through you. If he can hear me, I want him to call. Her second dream was also fulfilled recently. She was made the guest of the president and went to meet him personally at Bastrope Presidential Complex, Ankara. The president also sent her a car to pick her from her residence in Konya. Rabia Kochikar, her mother, emphasized that her daughter dreamed of being Hafiz from her childhood. Pointing out that Rabza Noor completed memorization easily because she wanted it. When she started primary school, a visually impaired professor taught how to read the Quran. When he learned the Quran, the rest was very easy. Memorization is very powerful. She completed the memorization by giving video lessons at home for the last three months with education. We listened to her memorization at home and her teachers also followed. She wanted to finish her memorization in June. She succeeded. Karapinar Imam Hatib Secondary School Director Imam Delikli also stated that the memorial education and academic education are given together at the school. Delikli stated that the students completed half his education in 18 months within the scope of the project. In addition to the education in accordance with the curriculum, these students are also doing HIFS. Our project has been continuing for three years. There are 60 students who are candidates for Hafiz. About 40 students were also Hafiz. Ravza Noor was also a Hafiz within one year. She completed her three months with distance education on June 15. With the support of her teachers, especially her mother and her teachers in the course, she realized her dream. She started late, finished early. The Center Girls Quran course teacher Huria Sayar stated that she was very happy with the success of Ravza Noor, who was Hafiz in a short time like 12 months, and said she read the Quran with her hands with the Braille alphabet. She saw it with her heart and loved it by touching it. I am proud of her. We often see able-bodied people complaining about things Allah didn't give them. But there are also few who thank Allah and make it big in life despite the lack of certain resources. This is that kind of a story. May Allah accept her and her parents.